I was like, this is awful. I literally called my dad and I cried. I was like, I can't believe this is happening. I don't know what to do. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Rosa's Beauty Salon. I look ridiculous right now. On. I never put my camera in the right spot. Why do I have a cross on my face? Is there something wrong with me? I don't know how to be a YouTuber anymore. Also, I think it's funny to point out that I've been doing YouTube seriously, like actually seriously, for probably a year and a half now. And I have yet to invest in a ring light. For some reason, avoid ring lights at all costs. Like, I don't know why. They're not even that expensive. I'm just allergic. I am turning myself into an alt girl today, as you can tell by the title of this video. Also, I'm sitting in the sun and the lighting keeps changing. I don't know what to do about that because when I sit in the dark, the lighting is just horrible. But when I sit in the sun, nothing makes sense. I am going to turn myself into an alt girl. I already said that, but that's what we're going to be doing. I literally don't even know really what an alt girl is. I just wanted to do the makeup because I have always felt that I look good with more dark makeup, I guess. I don't even know if I have the products to make my makeup look really dark or anything like that, but we're going to try. I am on next level crackhead energy right now because I've been holed up inside. It's really ironic that I'm making this video right now because I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, if you're like an alt person watching this video, I feel like it's more of like a dark vibe, like not like a sunshine florally vibe but me i roja kumar this girl right here i am turning into like a beachy floral chill vibration kind of girl and i'm turning myself old i should stop looking like this like i should put makeup on asap because i look not good okay i have my mirror right here so that's why i'll be looking a little bit down but i'm also going to be talking to you guys because i have a lot of things on my mind and i feel like this video is going to be all over the place and i'm sorry about that i really hope this doesn't make me look like a clown because i actually want this to work like i want to look alternative i'm literally basing all of my alt knowledge on this one Indian girl that pops up on my <laughs> For You page all the time. She's like the only brown girl that I've seen that's alt. So I'm just gonna do whatever I remember her doing in like one of her eyeliner videos. Hello? Yeah. Sorry for the change of scenery, but the lighting change was like really annoying me. Here I am. Hello, up close and personal, but nobody asked. So she like put eyeliner there and obviously I don't have the same products as her because I'm not her. She literally just smudged it with her fingers. James Charles who? Wait, she literally... <laughs> Did I really just make that noise? Why does my sister keep screaming? Stop! I'm recording! Oh my god! Can you stop? Sorry, my house is just angry birds. Stop! Why? Why is the lightning? Okay, time for another scene shift. Okay, sorry for the scene change yet again. I'm pretty sure this is what a mental breakdown looks like. Like she smudged it and it looked pretty. I look like a raccoon. If you guys like my YouTube, which obviously if you're watching this video, obviously you like my YouTube. Bill Nye the Science Guy over here. You should add me on Snapchat. Let me just go on a tangent here and say that like posting on Instagram is so much more of a big deal, at least in my mind, than posting on Snap. Because I don't know why, but I just feel like on Instagram, people are so much more concerned about what you post. Like you have to like really think it out. Like it has to be perfect. But on Snap, I literally, I just rant. It's like mini versions of my YouTube channel. My Snap is where it's at, guys. Guys, I think I just finished my eye makeup. But I'm not really sure. Like, I don't know what else to do to it other than just do the rest of my face and maybe add stuff to it later because, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look dark enough in my opinion. Okay, so I just looked in the mirror and it actually looks pretty good. Like, my camera's making me look really ugly, which is honestly really rude. Like, what? Why did I spend so much money on a camera that's gonna make me look ugly, but... Am I turning into an alt girl? No. Absolutely not. Oh, while I do my foundation, like the rest of my makeup, I guess I will talk because y'all love to hear me speak even though I hate the sound of my own voice. I posted like a question box asking you guys for like things to talk about in my videos. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing while I'm doing my makeup because honestly, the fasting forward, th fasting forwarding, Fast forwarding through my makeup is just boring. Like, why don't I just speak, you know? Like, why don't I just shed my thoughts and opinions that everyone cares about? Also, if you're here and you're listening and you care about me and you love me, can you please go follow me on Instagram? And comment a fairy comment on my most recent post. I'm scrolling through my comments. I have them right here. And someone was like, uh, what's your experience with toxic relationships and do you have advice for them? So I've never been in a toxic relationship. I've only been in one relationship, kind of, sort of. 
I mean, I've had my fair share of toxic friends. Not anymore though, like obviously this was in like middle school and stuff. Honestly, the reason I was in even that situation is because my insecurities, because I wasn't confident enough to be like, wow, I can get away from this. Like I knew it wasn't right when I was in the moment. Like I wasn't stupid or I wasn't like naive and thinking that it was like normal. I was smart enough to realize that something was toxic when it was. However, I was too unconfident to get out of that situation. I was scared that not talking to this one boy who was not nice at all or not being friends with people who were mean to me would make me like alone or a loner. I don't really know why I was friends with who I was or liked who I liked. It definitely stemmed from my insecurity because I was like, if I don't have these people, then I have no one and I don't want to be alone. I've always been scared of being alone. That's one of my biggest fears. I don't know if that really answered your question, but yeah, I've had toxic friendships and not relationships, but I guess flings in the past and be confident enough to walk away because it's for your own good. Someone asked about my first period story, but I think that's a whole separate video in and of itself. Honestly, if you want that as a separate video, comment that down below and I will make a separate video about my first period. Meanest professor I've had in college. Oh my God. So I obviously only just finished my freshman year and half of it was at home. So I didn't really like interact with professors that much, but oh my gosh, my winter quarter, this professor, I'm not gonna name any names obviously because I had her like the next quarter because I dropped her class because she was so mean to me, but I had her again ironically in the spring and she was actually a lot nicer, which I think is because people complain. But basically what happened was because of Nisha, I was like really worried about my course schedule because I like to study and like obviously I want to do well in my classes and I was like a little bit worried because the class was a science class which normally I study a lot for especially because I heard that it was more difficult. So I was really hesitant so I originally didn't enroll in the class and then I enrolled kind of late like actually like the last day possible because there was an opening like one opening in the class. The class is structured in a way that like points are very strict and like the textbook readings and everything like you get points for everything and if you lose out on those points like it really comes to bite you in the later parts of the class like, you have two weeks to enroll in a class um after two weeks you can't because we're on the quarter system at UCLA I literally enrolled on the Friday of the second week and I was like behind on work like I obviously didn't do the work because I didn't have access to the stuff because I wasn't enrolled in the class like when you enroll in the classes when you get access to like the textbook and the assignments and everything and it like starts registering whether you completed them or not I was gonna do them anyway because I needed to know that material for the midterm and final but I wanted to get credit I know I'm late but like I'm still doing Doing them like I just want an extension basically and she was like no like no you're not getting that like we can't do that and I was like what and then because it was a science class we had also had a lab and I missed the first week's lab because I obviously wasn't enrolled in the class and I was like so can I make that lab up and they were like no and I was like what like I just lost 15 points because of the lab I just lost like a bunch of points because I didn't do the textbook readings and assignments and you're not letting me make up those points So I was like what it was just like a really bad experience because I was already nervous to like even talk to her because like She had kind of a reputation of being rude to students and so when I approached her she was very cocky and she was just like <laughs> And she was just condescending and I'm obviously not someone that's trying to slack and she was just like no So then I didn't take that class winter quarter because I was like this is awful I literally called my dad and I cried I was like I can't believe this is happening I don't know what to do and I ended up taking it spring quarter literally with the same professor Which is so ironic. She was a lot nicer every single online lecture She'd be like, thank you guys so much for joining and I was like this is not the same lady that made me cry a month ago Um, so yeah, that was my experience with the mean professor But then I dropped that class and enrolled in another class which god bless my math professor at UCLA. He is an angel because he let me enroll on the last day possible. It was like past the deadline and I emailed him and I talked to him like in between classes and he had 10 minutes and he literally emailed the department because it was like already full class. That was like a whole fiasco. I was like stressing out of my mind and he literally saved me. Yuka, God bless you, sir. I will name you because you are an angel. <laughs> I'm still doing my foundation. This is why I don't talk while I do my makeup. A lot of people want to know about my relationship status. Um, yes, I had a boyfriend in college for like 10 days because quarantine happened and then we weren't dating anymore because that's not what dating is and so then we were talking and now we're just friends and that is the tea on that. I really anticlimactic, honestly. Yeah, I, that's pretty much it. But yeah, that's my relationship status currently. Also, he watches my videos sometimes, and I'm wondering what he's gonna say when he watches this video. If he watches this video, <laughs> Indian influencers you admire when you look at social media. I love Auntie Twinkle. I watch her YouTube videos. I think she's freaking hilarious. Um, she's also gorgeous, but I literally love her. Like, I don't know. I just love Auntie Twinkle. She's so cute and pretty and funny. This is a topic I feel like I want to address in a whole separate video and it's just about like confidence and loving yourself when you're a minority. I want to pretend that I love myself and I'm super confident in my own skin but I'm not. A lot of it came from when I came to UCLA and I joined UCLA Nisha because
because for the first time I had a friend group that was actually like me like I had brown friends and I had friends that spoke the same language as me when you have a friend that you can literally communicate in your language with it's like next level it's just like a whole another connection that you have with them I never had a friend group that was brown most of my friends are like really really similar to me and that's kind of like what built up my confidence I don't really know if that makes a lot of sense but it was kind of being around people that were similar to me and went through the same experiences at the end of the day it's gonna sound really problematic but I have a culture I don't appropriate other cultures at least I don't try to or intentionally do it I'm proud that I have a culture I'm proud that I have a language that my family speaks other than English when I feel like I'm not pretty enough or why don't guys like me because I'm not light-skinned I remember that there's two sides to that coin like you can look at the bads or you can look at the goods and I just have to remember to look at the goods I don't know how to be motivational honestly my way of coping with things is just laughing and making jokes and making fun and that's what my YouTube channel is. Sorry if that was all over the place. I'm not the best at giving motivational talks. I think that everyone is beautiful in their own way. Whatever culture you came from, whatever you look like, I think that everyone is here for a reason. Everyone has a purpose. Yeah. Ooh, favorite new music and shows and movies. Okay, movies, I don't really watch a lot of movies because this is gonna sound dumb, but when I went to UCLA, I took a film class as a GE, but also like because I wasn't sure if I wanted to minor in film since I do YouTube and stuff. In this film class, we watched a movie a week and it wasn't movies like a lot of the boys I loved, no. The movie was like three hours long and it was not in English and I didn't understand what was happening and I literally fell asleep for like most of it. That was what happened like every week. So I don't watch movies anymore because I get bored sitting there. I do watch shows. I watched Outer Banks, which I love yeah. the Outer Banks. I literally think it's Netflix's best original. If you follow me on Instagram and you see my stories, I've been recently going to sunsets and sunrises and most of those, like you can't really see them where I live. So I try to go to like where there's rivers or marinas and whenever I see a boat, like whenever I see a boat, I'm like, John B. Outer Banks is now my personality trait. JJ is my love forever. And I don't really find John B attractive. Comment down below if you think John B is attractive. Oh, music. I've kind of recently changed my music taste a lot. I really like chill music. Why do you guys always ask me what my first kiss is about? I answered that in a Q&A about a year ago. And obviously my first kiss didn't change since then because it already happened. I will link it right there if you want to watch that Q&A because that's where I explained my first kiss. It was traumatic. I am literally just talking. I'm not even doing my makeup at this point. A lot of people have been asking what my stats were and like how I got into UCLA. I am probably gonna make like a Q&A video where I address all that because I don't really have all my stats like memorized right now. But I don't know why you guys care so much. Like bruh, what? Why do you guys wanna know what my stats were? I'll give it to you, but I just, I think it's funny that you guys wanna know. If you want me to make a stats video and like answer all of your questions about how I got into UCLA Make sure to like this video and comment down below and also hit that subscribe button because this I need to pay for my college somehow Also, don't skip the ad, please Please a lot of people have been asking for a skincare routine and honestly I don't really have one like it used to literally just be soap and lotion And so I ordered like some ordinary products which I thought were working and like in the beginning were working So I think it was like placebo my acne is back. So I went to the dermatologist We'll see I'll keep you guys updated and if obviously if it works, I will definitely definitely make a video I'm not one of those gatekeepers. I will literally share my secrets. I've had acne for seven years now and it has taken such a toll on my confidence. I've tried literally everything to clear it. So when I find something that actually works, I will share it with you guys like 100%. Some news. I saw that Never Have I Ever has been renewed for a second season. How are y'all feeling about that? I personally am not surprised because I mean, it's the only controversial exposure we have in the media, in the American setting, I guess you could say. Um, so I'm not really surprised because literally every brown person and their mother and their relatives and their cousin and their daughter and their dog watch but how do we feel do we think it's gonna get better do we want it to get better do we have any hypotheses about who's gonna end up with who uh, let me know in the comments because I'm genuinely curious this is definitely not how you're supposed to do alt makeup and I'm definitely offending the alt community and I'm really sorry about it also I just would like to say that I have a lot of stories that I want to share on YouTube I could go full-blown Tana Mojo but I am not because I want to have a future in academia potentially and also my parents and sisters watch my videos here lies the issue this is my makeup this is what I look like in my mirror honestly don't mind it I think the shirt kind of fits the vibe hey how you doing well I'm doing just fine I lied. I'm dying inside Okay guys, this is like the only remotely alt thing I even could put together. It's literally just like a black tank top that I got when I was thrifting the other day. This choker that I found, it's blue, it doesn't even match. And these jeans that I've had from when I thrifted a long time ago. She dark or whatever. 
I'll do like a full montage of my actual outfit even though it's like kind of trash. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you want me to do more chit chat. Get ready with me. But yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on the gram. I don't know how to behave. Am I supposed to be emo? Am I supposed to be like mad? So I guess I'm just gonna have to say, see you guys in my next video. Toodaloo.